come to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is in Mark chapter 10, verse 23. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How hard it is for the rich to enter the kingdom of God. The Lord Jesus Christ was not saying that the rich cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. What he was saying, friends, was that it is hard for the rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. But why? Well, you know, earlier Jesus was just reacting to what a young rich ruler had done. Because this young man came to Jesus and said, how can, I, how can I enter the kingdom of heaven? And Jesus said that, well, obey the commandments. But I have done so. From my childhood, I've been obeying the commandments. And so Jesus said that, well, you're good. Then the next step for you to be able to enter the kingdom of heaven is sell your possession and share it with the poor. And the rich man said that, no way. <laughs> I've worked for it. See, I'm still young. Now I'm so rich. I'm working hard and I got these possessions. Why should I just share this with the rich? But Jesus, friends, wanted the rich man to apply what he learned from the law, from scripture. See, this scripture is not just for us, friends, to know, to have it here in the mind. No, this scripture is to be acted out. You live by it. Amen. And so one way, friends, is to be kind to the poor, to share your possession, because that's what the law says. See, when Jesus summarized the Ten Commandments, he said that the first one is to love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your mind. The second one is to love your neighbor as yourself. So, apply it. Share your possession. But the rich man left the presence of the Lord sad. Why was he sad? He knew that he cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. That's why Jesus said, it is hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. And then he said, it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter heaven. Wow, friends. Is it possible for a camel to go through the eye of a needle? You will say no. But Jesus said to you, it's impossible but not to God. So friends, today, what is your priority? What is your priority? Your wealth? Your possession? If your priority is your possession, then your possession will possess you. That possession will be your God. And you are not willing to give up your possession even to the point of not entering heaven, just like this rich man. But friends, let us worship the provider and not the provision. The Lord is able to provide. And so my prayer is that let's assess our priorities. <laughs> Amen. Let us give our best in our service to God. Jesus said, where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So what is your treasure? God? Then you will always be thinking about God and how you can please Him. But if your possession is your riches, as mentioned, friends, you can be possessed by your riches. You will always be thinking about it. But today, let us set our priorities right. Amen. Hallelujah. Is it hard for you to enter heaven? 
Well, friends, obey the commands. Amen? Obey the Lord. Love the Lord with, your, with all your heart. And love your neighbors as yourself. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. And lift his countenance on you. And give you his shalom. His peace. Hallelujah. God bless. See you again next time.